My name is Noah Gorelick. I'm a second year here at Medical School for International Health. I'm originally from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I went to undergrad at the University of Pittsburgh. Um, after that, got my master's in physiology at Georgetown University. My name is Seth Morrison. I originally hail from Denver, Colorado. I did my undergraduate degree in biology at Gonzaga University, which is a Jesuit school in Spokane, Washington. The Jesuits, for those that don't know, are simply an order of Catholic priests, and their primary values surround things like justice, service, and leadership. While I was at Georgetown, that's where I first kind of plugged into what Jesuit education is all about. And this principle of cura personalis, and being able to understand somebody, understand their culture, understand what life is like for them at home, and how that influences the care that they need. Coming to Beersheba, being able to study in an environment where there's such a great focus um, placed on being able to train like that and have that become an important part of the medicine that I deliver, the physician that, I'm, that I want to be. I mean, in that respect, I'm, I'm really happy to be here in Beersheba, uh, to have those opportunities. If you ask me how I would connect that educational background um, to my current pursuits in medicine, I think it would have to go back to something which I was a, a big concept that I took away from, from my undergraduate experience, and that's the dictum ad majorem Dei Gloriam. And this phrase in English means for the greater glory of God. And as a practicing Christian, that is something that resonates deeply with me because I see the doctor-patient relationship in medicine as a very, very concrete and pragmatic way of embodying that very concept in my every, everyday interactions with patients and people that I work with. Another really important part uh, the Jesuit education that really spoke to me when I was at Georgetown was um, the emphasis that they placed on, on becoming a physician advocate. So not just stopping you know, where your medical responsibilities end, um, but taking things further and understanding that um, we as physicians have a responsibility, we have a duty, and that's not just to the individual patient in front of us, but to the population as a whole. Some of the kind of philosophical background that I took from undergraduate is the value of service. And some of the ways that this gets incorporated into my life here in Beersheba are just through some service activities that I've been able to be involved with. One of those is doing a community English teaching program at a small Bedouin village near Beersheba. It's called Umbatin. And basically what we do is teach conversational English go on field trips with the high school age students and just explore a variety of topics just to get them practicing their English, which they really value. In terms of getting involved in all kinds of opportunities that we have here, um, Israel is really on the cutting edge of um, medical technology and research. So there are a lot of opportunities that you can get involved with. Um, and also there are all kinds of immigrant populations and refugees and it presents a lot of different and unique situations where we have opportunities, even as medical students, uh, to get really involved with individual care of, in, of people and populations that we otherwise wouldn't really have access to. And um, it's really part of our learning. It's something that I wouldn't get if I was in medical school, um, just in a, in a large city in the, in the US. Some of the things that I like to do for fun are just traveling around. I'm kind of a, I have a very deep wanderlust and always have. Um, I'm kind of regarded by some of my friends as the class tour guide. Anytime we go anywhere on a trip, I always have my head buried in a guidebook. In my mind, Beersheba really hit the big time when they opened up the bouldering gym um, downtown, which is like a five, maybe six minute bike ride from my house. So I can work on you know new routes, Till my fingers can't move and then I read till my eyes can't move and by that point I can get back on the wall. Socially uh, I find this school and the student body here especially uh, very supportive and warm. I would consider basically all the people in my class my friends. We get along well, we share notes, uh, we help each other study for tests, we do Shabbat dinners together once in a while at other people's houses. So it's a very friendly and supportive environment I found, which has been a very good surprise coming here not knowing a single other soul in Israel. 
Israel is a perfect place if you like the outdoors. You know, going on runs, hiking, going on bike rides. I've been able to enjoy all those things with various different classmates. Med school, it's an endurance race. It's challenging, but that energy and that focus kind of keeps you going. Um, part of a great class, we all keep each other in check, um, keep encouraging each other on like, you know, the difficult stretches through exams, but um, it's fun.